Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com and I'm currently on the newly amplified Navigator of the Seas. I just came into a J3 Junior Suite and I wanted to show you what the Junior Suite category is all about. We specialize in suites and so uh, this is a category that we get a lot of questions about, people that aren't quite sure, maybe not quite ready to move up to a full suite, but you get a lot of great amenities with the Junior Suite and as you can see the size is significantly different. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So right when I walk in here on my left hand side, you have a walk-in closet. So this is a huge luxury on a cruise ship. This is not something that you find in most mini suite categories on other cruise lines. So this is definitely elevated above that. You've got a ton of uh, shelving storage here. You've got a ton of hanging space as well. More hanging space there. This is perfect for shoes and everything else, but for whether you're gonna have two in this room or four in this room, this should be plenty of storage for everybody. Okay, so as soon as we head on out, I'm gonna take you right on into the bathroom. All right. So um, the first thing you'll notice is it does feel like a suite because you have the marble countertops here. Um, and then also they have this great storage that opens up. I love being able to put things completely away when I'm on a cruise ship or in a hotel or basically any bathroom there. A Little bit of storage underneath there, but you probably wouldn't utilize that. So there's your commode um, and you do have a full bathtub. So I have a three and a half year old. I travel with her all the time and having a bathtub is a massively wonderful thing to have. Makes our lives easier and she really enjoys it as well. So I'll just step in here so you can get a little bit of a point of reference. If you happen to be over six foot two, six foot three, it's a tight fit. I almost fit in here, but most of the time what I find myself doing is utilizing the bathtub for my, my daughter or my wife will shower in here and then I'll go down to the gym and use the, uh, the rainforest shower because it's a lot more comfortable for somebody my size. But that's throughout the entire ship for the most part. As I come out of here, the first thing that I notice is that it's significantly wider than a standard balcony. So to me, it feels double or triple as spacious, which on a cruise ship is a major luxury. So over here, you're gonna have a royal king size bed. Hey, I'm gonna take you over to the nightstand here. One thing that I did wanna point out is there are not any plugs there on the nightstand. Um, if that's a big deal to you, just something to keep in mind. What I usually do is I'll bring an extra battery charger for um, a lot of these rooms that don't have it. Um, I'll plug that in during the day and then at night I'll use that to charge my, my cell phone. But you got a little bit of storage here little bit underneath as well. And then you have this that pops out and becomes a, a double sleeper bed as well. So you can fit four in this room. Okay, so as we continue along, I'm just gonna take you back to show you a little bit more storage here. So again, if you have a family of four, you're gonna want more. But you got a ton of shelves right here that are perfect for stacking, even one on top here that's my height, I love it. More places to put things away completely on both sides mm -hmm. of the vanity. You got more drawers underneath here. Okay, so uh, you got a nice chair to sit and of course get ready in the eat for the evenings. Another drawer there, that's where you're gonna have the Royal Magazines, room service menu, okay? And then over here, you're gonna have your hair dryer, which is standard in all staterooms on board the Navigator of the Seas. You've got two US plugs here and a Euro plug here. A lot of times I'll bring an extra Euro plug just so I can maximize the outlets in the room. Right here, you're gonna find your safe. Um, it's big enough for passports and wallets, but not necessarily for a laptop. So keep that in mind if it makes a difference to you. Just more storage up above more storage down below. This is gonna be your mini fridge. And that opens up completely. And then as with the other suites, uh, you're gonna see that you have a coffee maker and a tea kettle here with coffee and tea ready for you. Sometimes that's nice in the morning just to make it. Um, but of course you can also order uh, the night before. They always have the room service menus by the door as you walk in. And then this really nice uh, plush chair. This is a, kind of, to me, it's a really, it's a really big bonus uh, for a junior suite category because this is really nice and this is where I would sit uh, and read and relax uh, and it's big enough for me. I'm a big guy. Okay. And then the very last uh, great perk of this room is of course the balcony, so follow me on out. So right before I step out, right in here there's a child lock, just keep that in mind. If you're traveling with a small child, we always recommend that you keep it locked. Um, that's just something that we pay attention to as a family. Out here you're gonna have your, uh, your chairs and a dining room table here. Uh, you can have you know, room service here, it's a, it's a perfect place to do that. I always love to have my coffee in the morning right there. And then you have room for one lounger. So you can see that it's definitely bigger than a balcony stateroom uh, because it's a lot wider here, uh, but the, basically it's about the same, same depth. So uh, it's, it's a really good size for, you know, for two people that are traveling. And then if you have four, it's most likely that your kiddos are gonna be in the kids club and other places while you're enjoying this space anyways. So if you're ready for this junior suite on board the Navigator of the Seas, any suite on the Navigator or throughout the entire Royal Caribbean fleet, reach out to Hard Travel. I'm a Diamond Plus member. I've been on more than 30 Royal Caribbean cruisers myself. I've been on their ships well over 100 times and booked thousands and thousands of satisfied, satisfied sweet customers. We know the ins and outs of everything you need to do before, during, and even after when you're sailing in a suite. And that makes all the difference so that you can maximize the value from your Royal Caribbean International suite experience.